So let's talk a little bit about my journey. And this is probably going to resonate with a lot of you because if you had asked me 10, 11, maybe 12 years ago, if I ever saw myself being an entrepreneur and leaving my steady corporate job to actually take on this journey of being an entrepreneur, I probably would have said, there's no way. But life has a way of overturning expectations because I grew up in community housing. And when you're living in community housing, it's a lot of paycheck to paycheck. It's typically paycheck to paycheck, right? Many are actually even living on welfare, but community housing can have that effect. Why? Well, because the background, my background, I didn't really have much confidence in a bright financial future. It was very much survival and actually even a little bit of a negative taste and connotation towards those who are successful. And then you fast forward to 13 years ago when I actually hit what I call my financial rock bottom. I was literally trapped in a toxic relationship. I lost my confidence, my finances, my energy, and I was at an all time low where I had lost my job. And I also ironically lost my job right after purchasing my very first car while I was struggling through college and credit card debt. And then a few months after that, it was kind of a total blur because of the amount of bills and collections, calls and collections altogether that I was getting. And I remember the overwhelming sense of shame every single time I would get another phone call or another letter coming in the mail. And then two months after that, I got a notice that my car was gonna get repossessed that my phone line was cut off because of the unpaid bills and I seemed hopeless. And I'm sure maybe some of you have something even worse than this, or maybe some experience something similar to this, but I was plagued by negative self-talk and chronic anxiety and I was struggling to find my way out. And it was a horrible time. It was a time of extreme and intense learning and managing my finances and trying to figure out life and resilience because very soon after that was when my career started to take an upward turn. And within three years, I was all of a sudden thriving in the corporate world. I was earning six-figure incomes and enjoying luxury, luxurious travel, literally paid for by the company. I'm talking about, you know, Spain and Austria and Greece and you know, there was family issues were starting to surface at the same time as at the peak of my corporate life. And I started to become dis so satisfied and dissatisfied with the job. The money was great. And I realized that financial success, but I also realized that that wasn't the happiness that my soul was aligned with. And then the realization was only growing. And when I grew interest in the health and wellness industry, which obviously you might or might not know this, it happened because of my very sick mother who was left on her deathbed from far too many narcotics and pharmaceuticals. And I needed to learn how to navigate her health challenges and try to help her get back to life. And I invested in my side hustle. My side hustle was so invested in like you wouldn't believe it. I was juggling studying with a newborn baby with very little sleep. And it was a hard time. It was a really hard time. But despite the exhaustion, I had this sort of sense of fulfillment that I was working towards something that ignited my passion, that made me excited. And I had learned the critical lesson of focusing on my future goals rather than my current limitations and circumstances. And I was so caught up in my future vision that it actually fueled me. It brought me life. And it took me out of the limitations of my current circumstances. And then it was during maternity leave as well, which I had substantially reduced income. It's when I recognized that I had to step up right now. I had to start creating and becoming that entrepreneur and selling my wellness products. And I started making tea blends and cough syrups and elderberry syrups and lip balms, salves, you name it. And it was so exciting because I was actually finally stepping into the entrepreneurial world. But you guys know that physical products, you have to show up all the time. And the financial return was so minimal for the effort that was involved. And I had realized that I had to rethink my approach to sharing my knowledge and my passion 
without sacrificing so much of my time and energy. And I needed something to allow me enough income to actually leave the corporate world. And here I am sharing with you this exact journey, the exact step-by-step -step that I did, the blueprint that God showed me the avenue that led me to this freedom. Because I do believe that together, we're going to look over how your unique skills and knowledge can create a profitable, fulfilling online business through your own digital products. No MLM, no top-down approaches. This is all you. And I want you to break free from the limitations and embrace the potential and actually start building that.